the ultimate bow bun. Soft, fluffy, light, and you can make this at home, guys. I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks. I have had so many bao bun disasters at home over the years. There's so many recipes that just don't work out. So I have worked on this recipe for a couple of years now and this is the result. I'm gonna share all my little tricks with you guys for getting the ultimate fluffy bao bun. So first up, we're gonna start with some all-purpose flour. So just plain, regular, all-purpose flour that goes in to a bowl. And then we want some skim milk powder. So this is one little secret ingredient that I've found really does help with flavor and a bit of the texture as well for the bun. Okay, now the raising agents. So I've got some dry yeast here. Now there are two different types. There's active dry yeast and there's instant dry yeast. So the active dry yeast needs to be bloomed in some warm water before you use it. This is an instant one, which means I can just put it straight into my dry flour mix and I don't need to do that extra step. Okay, now I need some baking powder as well. That's also gonna help with the light and the fluffy part and then some sugar as well. Now just mix these dry ingredients together first, make sure they're all well incorporated. And then I wanna make a well in the center and now the wet ingredients. So I've got some warm water. The warm water is important because that's gonna to help to activate the yeast that's in our dry mix. So you don't want it boiling because really hot boiling water will kill the yeast. You just want it warm. You should be able to still put your finger in it but feel that it is hotter than room temperature. And then a little bit of oil as well. The oil is another little secret that is gonna keep our buns really kind of moist rather than drying out. So I'm just gonna mix those and then that goes into our dry mix, into that well we've made. And now start mixing and just kind of start to incorporate the flour from the edges of the well into the center. It'll look quite wet to start with. So once I can start to see this come together into one cohesive blob, I'm gonna get my hands in there. So I'll just get some flour first of all and just make some floured space here on my bench top and then get a little bit of flour on my hands as well. And I just wanna empty that dough out. Now a little bit more flour on top. And now we wanna knead this until it's really nice and smooth. And this is where you need to use a little bit of intuition. I can feel this sticking a little bit to my hands as I'm kneading it. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more flour, sprinkle that on top, keep kneading. Okay, and so this is where you wanna just relax into the kneading time and you want to do this for about five minutes. Now, once you can see that your dough has become really nice and smooth, and this looks really great, I'm just going to roll it up into a nice ball. And one other way you can tell that this dough is ready is if I just push down on it a little with my finger, it's bouncing back. You can see that little bounce back, so it means we've worked the gluten enough in the flour, and we'll just put that into a bowl and you want to put a tea towel on top and leave that to sit down and relax a little for about 90 minutes. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. And by this stage, your dough should have doubled in size. This looks pretty good to me. If not, just put it back under the tea towel, let it rest a little longer. Okay, so what we want to do is just lightly flour our surface here, tip that dough out. Okay, now we want to knead this again for another five minutes and this is basically to knock all the air bubbles or the big air bubbles out of the dough because we want a really nice fine crumb or texture on our bun. We want it to be light but we don't want big air pockets. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I'm just going to now flatten it down, shape it into a rough circle and I just want to get some flour down here on either side because I'm going to roll it out. I don't want it to stick. Now just take yourself a rolling pin or in my case a cup or a bottle, whatever you've got and just roll this out into a large circle. You want it to be about a centimetre thick. Now one of my biggest tips here for rolling out any kind of dough is keep it moving while you're rolling. That makes sure that it won't stick to the bottom. Now the biggest challenge with bao buns is twofold in my opinion. One is you want to get a really nice smooth top on the outside of the bun and the other is that you need to create a fold that will come unstuck when you need it to, as in you need to be able to open it up and 
put your filling in. So I like to just get a little bit of oil, just some vegetable oil, any neutral tasting oil, and rub all over the top of this dough. This is gonna be the inside fold, and this oil will stop it from sticking together. Now you wanna take about a 10 centimeter pastry cutter and just cut little rounds out of that dough. Now as you're moving that dough around, just be careful not to disturb the top of the dough too much. And now of course we have the pieces left over, you can just pile them all up, roll that out and cut even more pieces out. Now that I've got my rounds, I want just some squares of baking paper. Put that down and then really gently pull up one side of your round, fold it over, pat down a little bit, smooth the top transfer that over onto your baking paper and then just use a rolling pin and gently push down and roll over the top. Now that helps to give us that smooth texture on the top of our bun. Now just bunch all of these up together on the bench top and they just need one more round of resting. Just cover them up and come back in 30 minutes. Now let's see what magic has happened while we've been away and ah Look at that, they've puffed up a little, still nice and smooth on the top. Now we have to steam them. So without disturbing the top of that bun too much, I'm gonna get them into my steamer. Now these guys will puff up quite a bit, so don't overcrowd them in there. You can find these bamboo steamers in a lot of bigger sort of Asian grocery stores. They're fairly easy to find or you can get them online as well. Now you wanna pop this onto a pot of boiling water. The lid goes on and now they just need 12 minutes to get nice and steamy and puffy and light. So let's have a look at what we've got. Oh, so satisfying, look at that puffy goodness. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of these guys out now. I have asbestos hands, so don't try this at home. You use some tongs or something, because they are hot. And then let's have a look at how fluffy they are. So this is the test. Let's open them up and you can see just how easily we can open that in half, ready for some filling. And then let's have a look at how light and fluffy they are. I can never resist eating the first one straight out of the steamer. Mm. So light and fluffy, just the perfect amount of sweetness. It's not too sweet. Mm. This is going to go great with so many different fillings and I'm going to have loads of different ways you can use this bao bun on my YouTube channel, so make sure you check it out. Mm, so good.